this one. I like oh, that shot. You like that? Oh, hi. Malcolm Boys and I are back. Uh, we're just looking at Morgana's <sighs> baseball cards. It's a lot to look at. <laughs> Sly dog, Miss Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> a lot to look at, for sure. Here, I got an extra pack. You can have these. Oh, thank you. My goodness, okay, did she sign them? No, we'll have to get her to sign them after the show. Mm. Okay, what do you got here? Victoria Principal. Oh, yes, there was a marvelous story uh, ran this week saying that Victoria wanted off Dallas. And uh, I spoke to her about it, and she said it was so untrue. In fact, it was she was actually in Dallas about a, three or four days before she was even due to start shooting. She was so keen to get back to work. Totally untrue. So oh, she who is published that story. Are we allowed to say? Uh, I think it was one of those tabloids. You know, oh, one of those. You know how those are. Well, speaking of Dallas, you have some. Uh, yeah, speaking of Dallas, <laughs> you have some some information on the show. Next, yeah, next season there. Um, they're obviously quite concerned about Dynasty doing so well. They've, they've signed Chris Atkins, who uh, was in the Blue Lagoon with Brooke Shields, if you remember. Yeah. He, uh, he is going to play a counselor from a summer camp next season, and uh, Linda Gray, who plays Sue Ellen, is going to take their son to summer camp and fall for young Chris Atkins. He's only about 21, and she, of course, is 42. So we're going to have this marvelous... Uh, well, that ought to be interesting. Yes. Hot, Linda Gray, steamy... Uh, Linda Gray falls for Chris Atkins. Chris Atkins, uh, giving J.R. a taste of his own medicine, of course. So it's uh -huh. all, all that marvelous stuff. And I'm going off to interview Lois Childs after this, who, of course, plays the woman that J.R.'s been involved with in the past. So there's right. probably going to be something in that, too. Yeah, the they're, really, they're really going for, you know, good juice. You know, there'll be no holds barred <laughs> next I'm season. I'm telling you, it's getting tough out it's there. Yeah. Right, I finally started getting into Dynasty. Okay, because I missed the entire, I never watched the show, and as soon as I got out of here, everybody talks about it. So I started to watch it now that it's in reruns. Now, when the show was on the first time, I saw maybe three episodes mm -hmm. the entire season. And wouldn't you know, the one I saw last night was one of the three episodes <laughs> that I saw. Yeah. But speaking of Dynasty speaking and Joan Collins. Joan is um, going to be doing a TV movie called Male Modeling, and um, she's uh, apparently put on a few pounds after she left the show, Joan loves good food, so she's on a very strict uh, exercise and swimming regime at the moment. She's she's trying to lose 12 pounds. She's almost almost down to it apparently. She's mm -hmm. got a couple couple more to go, but what they're really going to up her role next season on Dynasty. You're going to see an awful lot of Joan. She's going to be in uh, in most of it. What about all the stuff that was out recently about she and her husband? But uh, well, he's he's claiming that she actually has become the role she plays. I've known Joan for quite a few years, and, and I, I, I must admit, I find it hard to believe, because that gentleman's much closer to her than anybody else, any journalist, but uh, I found her the sort of lady who never really takes herself that seriously, you know, she knows what she does, and I mean, look at the way she's talked about her past, she's published, she published her book, of course, where she named an awful lot of names, and and she's been in, she's been an actress for too long, she's been in Hollywood for too long, I would say, to, to be affected by it's, it wasn't sudden stardom, you know, suddenly maybe right. she was playing a much bigger, juicier role than she has in the past, but she's been working for years. You catch her on old Star Treks and things like yeah. that, and she's done marvelous little guest roles. She pops up in those things. <laughs> you have something about Lisa Hartman? Oh, this, yeah, and I, I'm waiting to hear just how they're going to explain this. Lisa Hartman, if you remember, on Knott's Landing last year, ended up being murdered on the beach. And uh, she left the show, she was obviously written out of the show, and she went off to do uh, High Performance. Well, High Performance has now been cancelled, and apparently they got so swamped with letters on Knott's Landing that people saying they wouldn't watch the show without Lisa Hartman, and she's now signed a deal to come back and do 35 guest appearances. Of course, the big problem is the last time you saw her, she was dead on the beach. <laughs> so they're going to be... Uh, twin sister time. Well, it's going to be either the old twin sister routine or something similar. It has to be. Yeah. But oh. 30, I mean, that ties her up for two years back on the show. 35? 35 guest appearances. That's two seasons, That's the huh? And Diane Cannon, speaking of ladies that we've enjoyed for a while, that she are gorgeous as ever. She is. She is uh, at last getting her recognition. She's getting a star on Hollywood Boulevard. But the, uh, the amusing part of it is that Diane's star will be right outside Fredericks of Hollywood on Hollywood Boulevard, which is anybody who, who's never seen it is a marvelous, shocking pink building. Yeah, you know, I mean, right around the corner. It's hard to be low-key to have your car... In front of... Is it pink? Or I thought it was purple. Well, pink, pink and purple. purple. Shocking pink, I think it's yeah. <laughs> But it's going to be right there in front, so, I mean, it's... It's, it's, it's going to be amusing. June 22nd she gets it. It hasn't been officially announced yet, but uh, she's been told. So they'll have a big ceremony. Big ceremony, there. but it's going to be a marvelous advert for Fredericks. You know, I mean, it's... Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all the, the display windows in the background. Now, I wonder what they're going to do about that. They're going to have to <laughs> only put it on the news after 10 o'clock or something. <laughs> Gregory Harrison. Greg Harrison is over in... Um, 
Australia, uh, and he, he's a very interesting guy, Gregory. He's a, he's a world-class surfer. He's a very, very accomplished surfer. And uh, I was talking to him recently, and he was saying he spends thousands and thousands of dollars a year traveling. He was in Bali, and he surfed all over Europe, and he surfed the North Shore of Hawaii. And he was offered this role in Australia to do this Peter Weir film called uh, Razorback. And he said he wanted to do it, obviously, largely because he wanted to do a movie with Peter Weir, who just did The Year of Living Dangerously and has got a fantastic track record. But the real clincher for him was to be uh, paid to fly to Australia, where he can spend all his spare time surfing. Jeez. You know, Bondi Beach and around there, so... Well, that's all right, you know. If you can pull it off, why not? <laughs> and he's got time off from Trapper John. But uh, he, he's, a, he's an interesting guy. He's suffered some serious injuries, too, surfing. I mean, he, he got 12 stitches across his face one day when he was out surfing and then had to go to work next day and he's Ooh. turned up with this. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, they can write uh, well, hard for right Lisa really. Hartman to come back from the dead. I'm sure they can figure <laughs> out something with 12 stitches. But it's, it's an ongoing thing with him because he broke his leg uh, last season skiing. So they had to, uh, they had to change that. I think they would that. say something, you know, the, the, we don't want you doing this anymore. Well, he, he, his attitude is that uh, he's going to do it anyway whether they like it or not. And of course, he's got his own production company now. He's... Uh, He's got his own things on the right, go. We were so talking to uh, a guest earlier this week that worked with him on a new project. Yeah, he has this c uh, company, Catalina Productions. He's yeah. just done Hasty Heart for Cable. He's done, I think yeah. it's on HBO in uh, the fall. And Unlike a lot of other people with production companies here, his turns out is a good product. I think every actor in town seems to have their own production company. You never, ever see anything from them. But he did, uh, I can't think of the name of it, he did a boxing movie. He did the one about the ladies only, about the male stripper. Oh, right, yeah. So he's doing very well. He's still a young lad. He's still, of course, going with Randy Brooks, who used to be on Chips. She was here last week. Um, that Randy Oates. Sorry, sorry Randy Oates. Randy, my Oates. Mistake. Randy Brooks goes with uh, Tom Wopat. Oh, he's okay. sharing I'm girlfriends. Just, boy, you got to keep all these names straight. <laughs> <laughs> well, these Randys. I can just read them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Malcolm. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Thanks. Okay? And we come back. Alex Pachico talks about his misuse of pets and the misuse of his name. Uh, in our society. Stay with us and we'll find out how we say his name.